So we'll start building out the basic website here. We're going to hit new website from templates, continue. Now, what I noticed earlier, unfortunately, there is not a concrete template in here, but we will, that's even better because it'll show you if you ever come across a niche that doesn't have one, which is rare, how to go about it. Literally, you can change if you just like the colors and the layout of any of these, you can use them for whatever you want and just change the text around with the AI tool. But let's find kind of a home service one, see if we can get, at least get a, a little more in the right direction here. So I'm probably going to have to generate some images for the site, but that's okay. Let's see. I saw some earlier that I thought about using. Let me get to them. So building, let's see. I mean, Any of these a, look like a good start? Well, I was looking for something gray, but you have that HVAC one down there and then up there, that plumbing emergency service, it just already has a guy in a construction uh, uniform. So no, go up one, second one, that one this right one? there. Yeah, but I didn't, I wanted something with more colors, some deeper grays for concrete, something a bit more sophisticated, serious in tone. I saw some earlier above that I thought looked good, but totally up to you. You're the artiste. No, go ahead. Wanna... Go up. Sounds pretty dark, huh? Okay. Like bathroom renovation, number two, Just... I think okay. looks pretty good. Yeah, any of these, we're going to have to switch out imagery and stuff. So if you just like the colors, it's just a good starting ground. Again, you could change the colors, text, font, everything on any of these, but we're just looking for something that'll give us a little bit of a head start. Right. So let's see what this looks like a little bigger. Cool. I like that one. Awesome. Let's do it. So it's going to add a template for us. If you were doing plumbing or roofing or something that already had a template in, again, it would even be easier, but we're going to be work a little harder today, which I think will give you a, even more understanding of how easy it is to build sites on here that you don't have a big head start on. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need is a logo. So we're going to pull up Canva and get us a logo. And we can do just a text logo if we don't find anything cool. Uh, we've talked about Canva a lot in the past. What I like about it is that you can really use any of the logos that they have there for free and use on your site. And it just gives it a really good professional look, but it's super easy to do. Okay, so we're going to do concrete logo. Concrete. And just for the sake of time, just please know that we're going to just move through this as fast as possible. Once we when we're really doing this, we Jason is pretty meticulous in design, but just for the sake of this is how you do it. We're going to move through this pretty quickly. So yeah. don't judge us. Let's see what some of the others look like. So it's pretty basic text stuff. Maybe do construction logo in it. Or I don't know if it matters if you put the E. Concrete that Rimbero? What do you think about that? Or Borgesel? Borgelli? That looks like concrete, right? Let's look at... Excavator? Uh, What's that? More of... That could be... I think for the sake of example, dump truck. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, that didn't work. So we'll go with your idea as... Should have done. So which one did you like? I liked Rimbero, that one, and then right underneath it, Borchell. I even think a house is mm -hmm. fun. Okay. The house up there and the just pick one. All right, let's go Rimbero. Rimbero. Rimbario. Rimbario. And again, all this can change, but we're just showing you the the basics here. Once I get the logo here, I need to do a couple things. I need to change out the text, obviously, first of all. So our domain name is Katie Concrete Service. It's here. So we need it white. 
You might want to bend, bend the, the words more. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it on this white one. Shout out to Web Wizards. Just signed up for high level. Nice. Yep. All right, let's figure out how to do the bend here. Is it this? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we have the logo done in white, which we need. It has KD Concrete Services here. And all we're going to do is hit share and download. Transparent background so that we can put it on our website with no issues. And we're just going to do the white version of it for now. And again, this site isn't going to be the best design looking site because we don't want to waste all of your time on that. You can go and be meticulous with it later, but I do want to give you a rough idea of it and we'll go and refine it later. So we have it downloaded. We're just going to hit this little logo icon here and then scroll down to where the logo is. Hit this little image. We're going to bring it in from our computer. And then once it's loaded, we double click it. And now we have the logo here. It's a little small, but it'll work for now. Okay, so we also need a background image that is concrete related. So let's see if we can make this our first AI image, create image using AI. So who knows if this will work, but we're gonna see. So concrete, I can't. Keep spelling it. Concrete. So if this doesn't work, we'll just pull something from Google for now. We're going to do photo, hit generate. Not bad. Yeah, I like number two. So that's a good start here. Hit continue. Only he were wearing a t-shirt with our logo. All right. Content AI. There we go. So Look that's our new that. background. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> We're going to do Katie Concrete Services. And we're going to fill this part out. Awesome. See what we get here. All right, let's try this one. All right, so now we need to look at our other page here. I think this will give you just the rough idea. So I'm just going to do a few more sections here and show you like how we would replace some of these images and replace some of this text. And then we'll show you how to actually transform the site over to its own sub account, set up the domain and that stuff is more important. All this stuff you can do in your own time and you'll get the idea. So we're going to do a sub headline here for, let's see, residential. What about for commercial? Oh, okay. More content AI, you just keep going through and you can keep clicking this and then go and refine it later. Um, so write a paragraph about residential concrete services. You can pick your writing tone, the number of variations and things. So we like using this bold option, but you can try some of the other ones and see. We're getting 
limited on our text here. Let me go back and see if we can lengthen that a little. Yeah, I don't think it that did that because that was the same thing as the other. So I don't think it generated. Oh, okay. Let's see. Just going to do this and then we'll expand from there. Let's get another image for concrete. So we need to replace the image. So we go down, find the image here, hit this little image icon, create image using AI. Image of a home in the background. With concrete being poured onto the driveway. How about that? Since it's residential, right? Yeah, let's try it. Now, if for some reason these images don't work, you can always use like a mid journey or one of those other things to create the images as well. But I wonder, did Shutterstock and all of those image stock footage places, have they gone out of business yet? No, they're using a lot of AI themselves to keep building up their portfolio of images. So. There we go. That's fun. They're building a slide. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think that's really interesting. I know it's, I wouldn't do that because that looks messy. We we'll use this for now. Three, got, yeah. Got some pasta nope. there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I would probably, if, if none of these work, I would probably use Mid Journey to go back in because I get awesome images from mid journey, but oftentimes you'll find that the image builder right inside of high level works great. So if we did this a few times, we'd probably get something that is totally usable, but there are multiple pages to this site. So if we look at some of the other sites, you can see all the different pages that they have and start building similar pages to them. We'll do another video that kind of goes in more detail of building these sites out, but I really want to get you to the point of we have a site done. How do we transfer it either to a client or how do we transfer it to its own sub account so we can start building it even further for rank and rent?